Hey there, it's Cheryl with Distressed FX. My partner Steve and I are very happy to release the latest update for the Distressed FX app. It's now version 1.2. When we set out to create the app, we agreed that we needed to keep the interface extremely user-friendly and simple. We wanted people to be able to go into the app and create works of art within seconds. We knew there was already some great photo editing apps out there, so we really tried to keep our focus on the quality of the textures, keeping them very painterly. At the same time, we knew we needed to add a few more features that would just enhance the entire process, and we're very confident that with this update we've achieved that. One of the things we're most excited about is being able to use multiple layers on a single image, and also being able to bring in your own image, whether it be a texture or maybe some clouds or whatever you prefer and layer it on top of an existing image. We've worked out a few bugs, we've added some new textures, so let's go in and take a look at the new update. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Distress FX icon and at this point I need to go in and pull out a picture that I want to use so I'm going to select the camera icon in the top left corner and go to my library and I'm going to choose landscape that I have in here. If you don't want to crop your image you don't have to. You can just go ahead and hit choose or you can use your fingers to pull the image out to crop it which I am going to go ahead and do that. Keep it like that. Okay, One of the new features that we're really excited about is the ability to multi-layer on top of your image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the icon on the far right has, it says custom with a little arrow and it's going to take me back out to my library where I can select an image. Keep in mind that you can pull in textures. You might have your favorite texture on your computer. You can bring it into your camera roll and go ahead and overlay it on your image. Or you can do like I'm going to do. I'm going to select some clouds. I'm going to go ahead and crop it and hit choose and at this point it's going to layer it right on top of my image. Now I still want to be able to come in and add texture and normally you would have had to have saved the image and then come back in with it but now you can go ahead and take your finger which you're not going to be able to see me do this but I'm going to go ahead and take my index finger and I'm going to press the image on my phone or if you are using your iPad I'm going to press and hold and at this point I can either select to keep this or I can cancel it. Now keep in mind once you flatten your image you can't go back but I am going to go ahead and select OK and once that flattens now I can come back in and add additional images or texture or a gel which we couldn't do that before so it's a really cool feature. So I'm going to go ahead now and select a texture just going to kind of scroll through and see where I want to go with this I think I'm going to go ahead and select cedar. And then another new feature is that we have added some, some new birds. The bird overlays have been really popular and they're one of my favorite features of the app as well. I'm going to go ahead and select gathering which is a new one. Now at this point I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to press and hold on the screen and I'm going to flatten it again. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some more birds. I'm going to pick Alfred. And then I'm going to flatten it again. So you have the ability to just multi layer as much as you want here, which will really build up the dimension on your photo. Um, as always, we've had the feature for doing blur tool. You can either choose straight or round. So I'm going to go ahead and use my round and kind of focus on the house and a little bit more of the birds showing too so we'll go ahead and select that and I think I'm done I mean I could come back in and use the tools and I could increase the brightness or saturation or contrast to the image or I can change the opacity of the textures but keep in mind once you flatten it you're not going to be able to adjust the texture anymore so at this point I'm just going to go ahead and head out of this and I'm going to save my image to my camera roll or at this point you can upload it to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, we also um, made it possible 
to upload your images to your social networking sites with a little bit more speed. So, And that's it. Please join our Facebook group. Just do a search for Distressed FX. And thanks for peeking.